we get to speak to Derek Fox, who has won two Roundup Square Nationals now, with one for Arthur in 2017 and now with Korak Rambler in 2023. Many, many congratulations. As you've been here before. What does it feel like second time around? Oh, listen, I just can't believe it. Um, I've... Um uh, one for Arthur was, was was absolutely you know brilliant horse and um, to have done it, to have come across another horse like Cora Rambler is just um, I feel very very lucky to be involved with such top class horses and uh, no I, I I I'm lost for words really. Talk me through the race and how you rode him. Well. N normally, I, I, he, he, he doesn't travel as well as he did today early doors, but I felt like just uh, from the word go, he jumped out and got a good start. And uh, he was always travelling well handier today. And um, obviously, he jumped brilliantly the whole way. And uh, no, I was always after, I was just concerned about getting down across the first six fences and over beachers. And then I was going to, that was my main plan going out, just to get, get, get him into a rhythm across them. and. Uh, after I'd done a circuit, I was travelling very easy, and I was closer than I, I was every, I was close as I needed to be. So um, it was just a case of just trying to bide my time as best I could then from there, because sometimes he gets a wee bit idle in front. But uh, no, he was he, he was always travelling, jumping so easily that I, you know I was, it was always going nicely. So was he actually closer than you expected him to be? Ah, uh, he was really. I, I, I didn't think that it went overly fast early. And uh, because of that, he was able to travel within his, his comfort zone up there. So, um, so no, I just, I just, you know, I, I felt like he was travelling nicely. So I was just happy to be there, really. And um, when he hit the front, he just quickened up and went on. And uh, no, he's just, uh, it's just a massive thanks to Lucinda and uh, Peter Scudamore for, um, for all the support to give me. And uh, no, I had, a, I had a fall last week at Weatherby, and I wasn't able to ride. Uh, just until today, I got cleared. So um, no, they just put so much, you know, faith in me just to to let me get back on them today after not ridden for the last few days. But uh, no, I, I I just feel very lucky to be um, working for Lucinda and Scoot. They're just you know top class people, and uh, I owe it all to them really. We've seen that this week, haven't we? The the team of horses and the form that they've brought them to this meeting in. And I know you had to sit out and watch your horse and your and the Douglas Talking was there, and then it was also the winner on Apple Away for Steel McQueen. But the, the whole vibe was that you're a team and you have to pull together, and you know it sort of works in different ways. Is that how you, you see it? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, it was like everything. Um, you know, I, 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 I possibly could have rode uh, before the national, but I just just with, with the bang I gave it last week, I was worried that I, was, I, I really, I suppose I really, well, everyone knew he was a short price for the national. Korak was a short price, and. It was just a race you just did not want to miss out on, so um, so I just had to make a decision, even though it was a tough one, not to ride until until he was to run. And um, no, lucky it's paid off. But it's just uh, I couldn't do that without the support of Lucinda and Skew behind me to, to to let me make these decisions. And um, no, I just owe, owe everything to them. It's, um, I feel so lucky uh, to, to 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 ride the horses I ride for them, and uh, couldn't ask you know I couldn't ask to work for better people really. So the point is that maybe somewhere else there might be pressure on you to ride different horses. And here you're able to make the right decision for the horses and for the race and for the team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, as I say, um, no, it's a, uh, it's, it, no, it's, it's a great team effort. Lucinda does such a great job, but she's at every sale going. She does a great job in scouting out to bite them in the first place, and you know she's the first person in the air every morning, feeds them herself at half five in the morning, and uh, you know she just. You, you wouldn't believe the work she does herself on the air and you know that that um, encourages everyone to work hard because she works hard and uh, you know she she's just a great leader and um, she's she does a tremendous job and especially you know with these staying chasers there's no one better really and how was is it the shoulder collarbone how was it on the way around which is it uh, yeah just 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 the the collarbone I've, I've, I've uh, hurt it before in the past and uh, when I fell at Weatherby the other day, uh, it just kind of niggled an old injury, really. But um, uh, as I say, uh, no, it was fine. It, it, it wasn't too bad. It was fine. It was just, um, just, just, just. I just had to make a decision to wait and um, 
you know, try and keep myself as fit as possible for today. And uh, no, thank God it paid off. So um, no, I'm just delighted. I suppose some pain is the last thing on your mind when it, you've got Corrick Rambler travelling that well. When you hit the front, you know, you, obviously you know he's, he idles. Were you at all worried about that long, long elbow? You know, the run-in in which you know stories in the national have changed so often. Oh, I was very much on my mind. It was like it was great to be able to travel handier, but the the, the issue with that then was that I might just end up. Uh, hitting the front early and if something was to come at him late but listen he's a very talented horse he, he, he I think he he knows when he's enough done and uh, although he idles a little bit he always seems to get it done you know he's just a remarkable horse he's I've never really rode a horse with so much character before you know and so much natural ability he just he's a, he's a mind of his own but um, he you know Everyone says it really about, about good horses, but he really is the aired favourite. You know, there's no one that wouldn't be able to ride him out really of a given day. Um, he, he, he's just the sweetest horse. He's the greatest temperament. Um, you know, he just, you know, even before handing the parade, he just walks around so so mellow all the time. So um, he's a he's a terrific horse and. Um, no, I, I, I feel very lucky to have uh, been able to ride him today. And how about the process? So it, it sounds like the process didn't affect him at all pre-race. Oh, no, no. If ever there's a horse who's going to handle things like that, yeah. No, as I say, he, 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 he's, he, is, he has attitude, but, you know, he, he, he knows when to get serious as well at the back of it all. And uh, at the end of the day, he's just a, he's just a great, he's, he's just a very high-class horse, really, when, you, when it all boils down to it, I suppose. So. And did it affect you and your fellow riders? I mean, how much did you know about what was going on? Oh, listen, it wasn't ideal, you know. You, 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 the thing is that, saying to the boys in the way room beforehand, it's, it's always a long day when you come for the national because you need to get here early and then the race isn't till, you know, late in the evening. And a delay is the last thing. Nobody wants that. But, uh, listen, we all, it was the same for us all and we just had to deal with it, I suppose. But... Mm -hmm. And finally, you've joined a very uh, select band of jockeys who've won two Grand Nationals. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. It means everything, you know. Um, as I go back to, you know, one prayer to give me one of the, my best day in racing and just to, uh, you know, I'll never forget that day and, and, and for Core Active to come out and done it, won another Grand National. It means everything, you know, that's what you do it for. It's, uh, it, it, you know, as I say, everyone says it, but it is a childhood dream to to ride in the Grand National and then to have won it a couple of times now, it's um, beyond my wildest dreams really, it's, uh, you know, I'm still not sure it's happened. <laughs> well, I can confirm, it definitely has. <laughs> oh, no, brilliant. <laughs> well, Derek, many congratulations, you've done it for the team, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Derek, well done. Thanks, Cheers. Yeah. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.